Hey everyone, this is Craig Fear with Fearless Eating and today I'm going to show you how to make your own homemade mayo. Very simple, all you need is about five or six different ingredients and the reason we want to get in the habit of making our own mayo is that unfortunately most store-bought versions use very poor quality vegetable oils that are almost always genetically modified. Uh, canola oil, soybean oil, you'll see them in almost every store-bought version and uh, they promote inflammation in the body so we can use our own, um, our own oils, uh, some really good quality oils, and we can make our own, our own homemade mayo. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, right so we're just about all set to go here. So we're using six ingredients. We got olive oil, so we're going to use a good quality extra virgin olive oil for the oil. Now, other people use different things. Some people, some people complain, they say the olive oil is a little strong flavor, so you can use avocado oil, you can use macadamia nut oil. Some people I've heard do a blend of olive oil and ghee. Some people have done coconut oil. Um, I'm okay with olive oil. I think it tastes fine. I like the taste of it. So I'm using olive oil today. Uh, the other ingredients is we put in a tablespoon of whey and the reason we're using whey is that we're going to actually ferment this mayo and the whey is going to add some good probiotic uh, bacteria and it's also going to help thicken it a little bit. So tablespoon of whey, I put in a teaspoon of Dijon mustard here. I put in about a half a teaspoon of uh, good quality sea salt. I put in two squeezes or two lemon wedges. I'd squeeze the juice of two lemon wedges in there. I'm going to hold on to this one. I might add in a little bit more lemon juice. It's about a tablespoon that you want. I also might add, add in a little more salt. I'll just kind of uh, <clears throat> be conservative with what, with what I throw into the food processor here. And then as I go, I'll taste it. And if I need to add a little bit more, I'll, I'll add a little more. And we got three egg yolks. Now, a lot of recipes will call for a whole egg. Uh, I've found that egg yolks help to thicken this uh, a little bit better. So one of the challenges of homemade mayo is that it tends to be a little bit thinner in consistency than, than store-bought mayos. Using egg yolks, I think, helps uh, quite a bit. So I've got everything in here except, of course, the olive oil, which we have to drip in, which I'll show you in just a minute. Uh, everything and except, the, except the egg yolks. So putting the egg yolks in, and I'm just going to kind of blend this up real quick. And then we'll get ready for the olive oil. Okay, now we're ready for the most important part, the olive oil. Okay, so we're ready to add the olive oil now. And we've got all of our ingredients prepped in the... the attachment here. So what you have to do is um, you have to kind of start the, the food processor and then keep it running and then you'll add, I'll show you just kind of add it in a very slow steady stream. It's going to be very tedious to start but after about oh a quarter to a third cup you can kind of start to add it a little bit uh, faster. Um, so so let's let's start. So here we go. about there is the kind of pace you want to go. So I'll sit here for about oh five, six minutes doing this. It is a little tedious. But it will create the emulsion. And I'll check back with you in about five minutes. It's about five, six minutes later. And it's thickened up real nice, and I just want to kind of dip the spoon in here just to show you like the the, uh, the consistency of it. So, can you? I think you can see that. Yeah. So you can see, real nice. It might be just a tad thinner than like typical store bought stuff, but not that much. And I'm gonna let this now. I'm gonna transfer it to some ball jars, and I'm gonna, or probably just one ball jar. 
And I'm going to let it sit on the counter here. Mmm, yeah, really good. For about seven, eight hours, and that because I added some whey, it's going to ferment. And that's going to help preserve it for about, oh, probably at least two to three months. It'll, it'll be able to, to stay in my refrigerator. And I'll probably use it a lot quicker than that, though, So, because I have a lot of uses for homemade mayo. So, yeah, it turned out real great, and that's how simple it is how to make your own